is going on everybody it is frosty i am one of the admins off of cynical's discord i am uh here with skrill and we got do rag billy bob joel right there and then we got uh quicks he is one of the special guests that we have brought along for this journey along with um, a big shout out to uneven jack for giving us the ship cosmetics that we'll be using in this clip right here but this is for a tribute for sin while he's away in packs we gave him a little surprise so i hope you guys like it enjoy What is going on everyone? So before we get into the video, I just want to give a massive thanks to Frosty Reel and Silex for doing that beginning clip. Also, all of the myths in this video were made by the help of Frosty and Skrill. So their links are going to be down in the description if you want to check them out, and I highly recommend you do. If you have Twitch, what you should do is head over to Frosty Reel's stream and watch him play some Sea of Thieves. If you're on Mixer though, what you can do is go over to Silex's Mixer and watch him play. Either way, there's some really cool content creators. I have the privilege of working with them and playing with them fairly frequently, and of course, I'd like to give a massive thanks to both of them for making this video possible. So Myth Busting Mondays is a video series where I jump into the Sea of Thieves world and test some myths suggested by you guys, the community. So towards the end of the video, I'm going to explain to you how you can be involved if you want to get into next week's video. So with all of that out of the way, how about we get into the first myth? So on the first myth of today's video, we're going to be testing whether or not you can kill skeletons with your pets. And actually, I suppose when I think about it, we're also testing whether or not this game is pay to win. <laughs> so to keep it short, sweet and simple, no, no matter how many times you shoot any skeletons with a pet through your cannon, they're not going to die. I guess also confirming that this game is in fact, as of right now, not a pay to win game. But I mean, if you think about it though, wouldn't it be pretty awesome to shoot down a bunch of skeleton captains with a parrot? That seems like a fantasy I really want to see. Rare, please make it happen. I know you're watching. Hell, I'll even settle for like a monkey. Just make some sort of animal be able to kill skeletons. Anyway, so the next myth in today's video is another myth that was actually recorded by Skrill. As I said, go check him out. Link down in the description. So in this myth, we're going to be testing whether or not a chest can stop a gunpowder barrel. So what I mean by that is if you shoot into a gunpowder barrel that is situated behind a chest, will the gunpowder barrels blow up? or will the bullet not go through the chest? Now this is interesting considering you can wall bang through ships, so my first initial thought is no, it's still gonna blow up no matter where you shoot it. Either way, let's test it out. So essentially to bust or confirm this myth, what was done is there are a bunch of gunpowder barrels placed inside of the crow's nest, then right in front of them, they put down a chest. Now essentially the idea was if you could shoot the chest that is situated in front of the gunpowder barrels and no explosion happens, it means to a degree the chests are somewhat invincible and have a little wall barrier that stops them from getting shot. Maybe in the future I might have to test whether or not chests can stop bullets hitting someone. But for now, let's just talk about the gunpowder barrels. So as you can see in the video, if you situate a chest in front of gunpowder barrels, no, those gunpowder barrels aren't going to blow up. Now, I don't really know if this works with different things like skulls, merchant crates, or whatever, whatever. But when it comes to gold hoarders chests, you can shoot right through the middle of them and no gunpowder barrels are going to get blown up. So essentially what that means, if you have a bunch of stronghold barrels and you don't want anyone to blow them up, what you could do is just place a bunch of chests inside them and around them. Then theoretically, unless it hits them with some sort of explosive device, they're going to be invincible. I can imagine this being very powerful if you do it up in the crow's nest, but either way, it could be worth testing it out just in case you want to be extra cautious. But don't worry, this isn't the end of the gunpowder myths because the last and next myth of this video is also gunpowder barrel based. So as you know, if you're unfortunate enough to sail over a gunpowder barrel, that thing is going to go up and completely ruin your ship. So we're going to be doing a variation of a test now, and we'll be testing whether or not if you row over the gunpowder barrel with the rowboats, will it also blow up? Now the answer of this myth will essentially tell us a few things about the game's design. And assuming the keg doesn't blow up when you go over it with a rowboat, the question will be, at what point does it become explosive? So is it the velocity of a normal ship as compared to a rowboat that makes it go off? Is it the hardness of it? Or is it just the general design in itself? Now, as we know, for a short period of time, you could actually bring rowboats up onto islands and pretty much send them flying. The same as ships as well. So it makes me think that maybe the coding is somewhat similar. But nevertheless, that's a conversation for someone far more intelligent than I am. Let's just get back to the myth busting because that's what I'm good at. So essentially, a long story short, if you manage to row over a gunpowder barrel with a rowboat, that thing's not going to explode. Kind of cool thing to know, but I don't really see how it's useful. I guess if you're surrounded by landmines and you want to try and keep your ship safe if you're doing some sort of luxurious fort, or any sort of Athena, it means that if someone comes at you with a rowboat, they're not going to be stopped by the landmines. But nevertheless, that doesn't stop anyone from shooting a gunpowder barrel as a rowboat gets near it. Either way though, do what you want with that information. 
So with all of that being said, they are the myths that have been busted in today's video. If you want to be featured in the next myth busting video, or maybe the video after that, or maybe the video after that, what you can do is head down to the comment section and type what myth you want me to bust in the next video. If you do want to have more of a chance of it reaching my radar, what you can do is also head to my Discord, to my Twitter, to my Instagram, and ask me there. If you do have Discord, Twitter, or Instagram, I do suggest you also reach out to me there as well, because I'll be able to see the comments more quickly and get on top of them as soon as I can. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Again, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Frosty and Skrill for pretty much making this entire video. All I done was done the commentary over it and their help while I was away getting this video out has been absolutely phenomenal. Either way, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> I'm never gonna do it again.